Hello everyone. I'm here to uh, show you this gorgeous card that I just made. The stamp set for this card is found in this mini catalog that will be expiring the end of next month. It's on page 25 right here. It's gorgeous and you are absolutely going to want to get it. When you get the stamp set, make sure you get the bundle because uh, that's the die cuts that you get with the stamp set. If you get the bundle, you're going to save 10% if you buy them together. Okay, so let me uh, get started. I want to show you exactly what I did with this cute card. Let me turn the camera down. Okay, here's the card that I was showing you. There's a close-up look. It is a wow card. It takes a little time to make it, but it's totally worth all the time that you put into it. And you always uh, need a special card for that special friend, okay? So let me put this aside. I'll put it right here. And then here's the supplies that you're going to use. It's... Um, the base card is the white, and then this is uh, Granny Apple Green. And this paper here, I don't know if you can see the glimmer on it, it's shimmer paper. And I use the shimmer paper to cut everything out that I cut out on this uh, card here. And I have already cut all this out. So let me put this aside, because all I'm gonna do right now is work on the front of the card. Um, we're actually, as you can see here, I did a wash on the card. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll do our coloring on the nest and the bird, okay? So what I did was I did a, let me see, there's several ways you can do this. You can do it with the, um, the aqua painters. Um, actually, you can't do a wash with the uh, with the. Uh, yeah, with this painters right here, these are my brushes. This is what I'm going to use, but you could use these um, blender pens, blender brushes. You could use these um, for coloring in, but I don't, I've never did a wash with these, so if anybody's did a wash, let me know how it turns out. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the Balmy Blue ink pad, and so I'm going to show you Sometimes I put a little ink in there and use it, but this time I'm going to make my palette with one of these acrylic blocks. All you do is go down, put some ink on it, set that aside for now. And then um, these brushes come three in a set. This is the uh, larger brush. I've got water in the barrel, so you just squeeze the barrel until you see the water come out. And then first of all, I'm gonna just wet my, my card. Just gonna wet it a little bit. And then I'm gonna pick up the color that I've got over here and I'm just gonna put it down on the card because I'm coloring the sky. And there's no right or wrong. You just go over and do a wash. It's called a wash. And you just, you want some background color for the card. To, it's gonna be like the sky. And then you can just dab here and there after you get that on because um, it's going to look like a little bit like clouds in the background, the white part. And then um, I think that's about it. Let me get a little bit more color here at the bottom. You can dab if you want or just go back and forth. Just get enough to where... It looks like a sky. And if it's a little bit darker in some spots, that's okay. That's what you want. Let me get my paper towel here that I threw away. And I should have got another one. I need to wipe off my brush. Okay, and then what you do is you just squeeze it till you don't see any more color. And then you know it's good. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for now. And you can see it's kind of swelling up just a little bit. But it will go flat after it dries. So we're going to put this aside and let it dry for just a little bit while we're working on um, the bird. I think I'll do the bird next. Okay, now, you can use that same color on the bird if you want, or I do have these, um, I think it's a balmy blue. Let me look and see what this is. Yeah, it's a light balmy blue. So I'll go ahead and use that for around 
the sides of the bird here where it's you can see um, I'm not going to color the breast let me get in here where you can see I'm just going to color the feathers on the out on the outside there's a little bit there a little bit here then we're going to go down like that now you could use the darker one and go back over it and do some shading and all that if you want I'm not going to do that right now so I'm going to go into my balmy blue um, right here let me see if I have any more color on my block and do the breast let me see here oh yeah so you just you want it to be a little bit lighter the breast part and that's about it I think that's good a little dab right there okay and then um, put my lid on this these brushes are really really nice actually some people that are are really um, into painting and um, I've seen them actually use those the art the real um, professional artists have used these right here with the water in the barrel okay now the beak I want to color the beak so I'm gonna do that with this one right here this, this is daffodil delight or um, yeah daffodil delight so I just put that in there and while I have this color out I'm gonna color the tip of these flowers here also want to do that okay and then um, I used um, actually surprisingly enough I used the balmy or no this is uh, the what color is this it's the marker it's called uh, ivory and the ivory color was dark enough to pick up some of the color in the nest and that's what I wanted it to do is to um, get some variation I think I use crumb cake also but right now we're just using this ivory color which is a very very pretty color okay and then I also used um, the ivory for all for the whole I just colored the whole nest which I'm gonna not going to do that right this minute okay and then okay for then I use the granny apple green marker for the green leaves to make the leaves green this is a gorgeous color and it matches the cardstock that I'm layering on you can see that and then I did go back in with this um, Let's see, with, with the crumb cake, and I, I made it a little bit darker um, in the middle, and you can see how I did that, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this aside, and I've got the bird all done. I'm going to put this aside for now, and I'm going to, the branch is colored pretty much the same way, but I want to do the eggs right now to show you how I did them. Now, I did these with the um, brush. I let me put some more ink on here. Okay. Yeah, they they turned out really cute. I like how they turned out. So you're just gonna um, color them. Get inside here so you can see. And then I'm going to set them aside and let them dry too. They're a little, I'm making them a little spotty. Okay. Because when you see an egg, it's not all one color always. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do, instead of setting it aside, I'm going to go ahead. I'm using the um, Smoky Slate. And what I did, okay, I'm done with this color right here balmy blue so I'm going to close that up and then this is a smoky slate what I did in the stamp set you've got this little uh, spotted one so I took and I put smoky slate on that and then I 
spotted the eggs, speckled them, I guess, would be a better word. You can see how they're kind of speckled. So that's what I did to get those speckles in the eggs. Give them the realistic look. Okay, so what I wanted to show you next is, um, I've got this all done. <laughs> I went ahead and colored the whole thing. So to save time, I color, I, I went ahead and, and um, let me see if this is drying. Yep, it's pretty much dry. I went ahead and um, colored everything ahead of time. But I just wanted to show you what I just did to um, give you an idea of the colors that I used and how to do that. And so what I did was you take this Baker's Twine and you're going to wrap it around um, what I did. Let me see. Uh, yeah. You're going to take your Baker's Twine and you're going to position everything the way you want it before you start gluing. Oh yeah, that turned out so pretty. I love it. Okay, I want to put the Baker's Twine about right here. So what I'm going to do is wrap it around twice. I put tape on the back of this to hold it down. Okay, let me get this just the way I want it. Put it in the right position. Just tape each end the way you want it. Okay, and then, I, like I said, I wrap it around twice. And then you're going to tape it down again. Okay. And then I'm going to put some more tape on it. To hold it down again. And then I just tie my bow, which makes it much easier. I tie the bow and put it on the front. Like this. Okay. So then... I'm going to put this about right here. I was going to put a saying on this, too. The saying, saying is, um, what does it say? Always thinking of you. Always thinking of you. So maybe I'll wait and do that last. Okay. So I'm going to put this about right here. And then I, I glued this underneath a little bit. So let me get my glue out and get started. 